thankful, Lord, because we know today, without a shadow of a doubt, your word is true. And oh God, because your word is truth, and Father, it will not fall short of what it says. Father, we thank you for everyone that has come out this morning. Father, we thank you for being God Almighty this morning. And Father, in the name of Jesus, you have blessed us even in the midst of a crisis. Yes, yes, yes. And oh God, we believe with all of our heart and we declare this morning mm -hmm. that you will shield and protect us mm -hmm. because your word said so. 
And oh God, we take courage this morning and we thank you this morning, oh God. Thank you for waking us this morning. Thank you, Father, for watching over us as we slumbered and we slept. And oh God, we just pray this morning that believers everywhere will look to the hills which come in all our help. For all of our help coming from thee. And oh God, we pray that every believer, every child of yours will stand in faith, knowing that, oh God, that this situation, this crisis, this pandemic, may it wake up the unbeliever, may it cause their hearts to turn to you, Lord, and Father, that somebody come running, saying, what shall I do that I might be saved? Father, we thank you for this, the body of St. Frederick's, Lord. We thank you that, Father, we had the strength. You gave us strength and courage this morning to gather ourselves together. For you said in your word, Lord, forsake not the gathering of yourself together with the saints of God. So therefore, Father, we came this morning to offer you praise, to give thanks to your name. Because, Lord, we realized this morning that we could have been dead sleeping in our grave. But, oh God, you touched us with a finger of love and you call us into a brand new day. And, oh God, we render this day back to you with praise and glory. And, you know, Father, we thank you so much. Lord, we thank you for this pastor. Father, we thank you for this man that has determined that no matter what comes, come with me, he's going to go on in your name. And, oh God, we support him and we pray for him and his family, Lord. And, Father, for everyone under the sound of my weak voice, Father, thank you. Thank you that we can share this brotherly and sisterly love one with another. For we know, oh God, that love is of you. And, oh God, when we have done our very best here on this side of life, Father, we look for a place in your kingdom that you have prepared for us, that we can serve you throughout eternity. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. amen, amen, and amen. God bless you all. At the cross, at the cross, when I first saw the light, and the first of my heart was
I will want to stand and say that uh, if there's anybody who would like to join us in the future, uh, please keep in mind that uh, you will have to have mask on and there's sanitizer here for you to use. Uh, we want to lift up his name. Amen. But we want to do this with a good sound mind. Uh, so we thank all that is here and around. Yes, Amen. Lord. So if you don't see somebody on, but you hear some noise, just just know it's somebody singing, lifting up his name. Amen. But I do want to stop and, and like normal, take this time to lift up somebody. We know that everybody who tuned in may not be feeling up to par. Uh, it may even be someone here that that has trials and tribulations in their lives. Uh, we always look at troubles and heartache as a sickness, but it don't always have to be a sickness. It can just be trouble, something in our way. We so often allow Satan uh -huh, uh -huh. To put an obstacle in our path. But when we call on the name Jesus, when we trust and believe in Him, it don't matter how big that obstacle is. Yes. That great big old 20 ton boulder. Our Father has given you the strength. To just step back and kick that old boat and watch it turn into dust. We're going to ask that as we pray this morning, that whatever is on your mind, whatever's troubling you, to give it to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. Yes, he's able. Tell him what's on your mind. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Dear Heavenly Father, in your name, Jesus. In your name, Jesus. Lord, we come to you once again today asking you for your mercy and your grace. Yeah. Yeah. Lord. Father, we ask that you look down upon your children. Yes, Lord. Jesus. We ask that you touch each and every one of us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Father, knowing that we're not all going through the same thing. Yeah. We may start going through the same door. Yeah. But you have said that we're all different in our own way. Yeah. And our trials and our tribulations yeah. is going to come to us through the path that we're on. Mm -hmm. Father, we just ask that you look down on your children well, because you know the path that they are taking. Well, Lord, we just ask that you touch them. Help them go down the path that you have put before. Mm -hmm. Lord, give them the strength and the courage to continue to call on thy name. Well, Father, we just ask that all of those that is calling up under you today. Well, Jesus. All of those that has given you all of the birds. Yeah. That Father, that you would do what you do best. Yeah. Well, Jesus. And that's take care of your children. Yes, Lord. But Father, yes, Lord. It's bad to say, but you know you got to help some of your children more than others. Well. Father, we just ask that you take mm -hmm. your sword and cut all 
of them fishing lines that follow when they led at your footsteps. Well, that there it would be able to stay. Father, knowing that so many give it to you, but then want to take it back at a later date. Father, they do that and not knowing why they still sit, why their heart is still troubled. Lord, we just ask that you take control, that you walk with us, teach us, and show us all that we need to know. Father, we offer this prayer in your son Jesus' name. Amen, amen. and amen. 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 This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of In tithes and offering, 
You are yeah, cursed with the curse, for you yeah, have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring me all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house, and prove me now wherewith, said the Lord of hosts. If I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out of a blessing, then there shall not be room enough to receive it. Amen. Amen. Give it in Jesus' name. Give, give, give. Give it in Jesus' name. Give, give, give. Give it in Jesus' name. And the Lord will give it back to you. Give it in Jesus' name. If you don't have a dollar, give it in Jesus' name. If you don't have a dollar, give it in Jesus' name. And the Lord will give it back to you. Amen. We want to thank each and every one. Uh, those of you who want to mail, we ask that you please uh, send it to P.O. Box 812 on Marble Falls, Texas, 78654. Amen. We ask uh, blessings upon your thoughts and your gifts. Uh, we're going to ask Reverend Thompson to come and give us a prayer for your giving. Thank you, Pastor Perry. Father in heaven, we thank you for just another privilege and opportunity to praise your name. Father, thank you that we're able to bless your name and give it. Father, we just pray that everyone that has given, Father, and for those that had a desire but had not, Father, that you would continue to bless and keep us. Father, we just pray that it's you for the upbuilding of your kingdom and the keeping of your house. But this is the place that has been dedicated to your holy name. Father, we know that you will provide. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 amen.
as I give my prayer asking my father to take over this year that you think because only you know how much you really love the Lord. That's right, that's right. See, we, we, we need to make this a personal experience if you haven't already. All right, and just ask that question, even if you got to do it every day, to check yourself. How much do you really love the Lord? Dear Heavenly Father, Father, as I come and stand before your children, Lord, I ask that you remove man out of the way and allow thy Holy Spirit to dwell within this shell. Father, to tell your children what you will have them to know this morning. Father, I come to you this morning in the most humblest way that I know how. Father, wanting and willing to lift up thy name in all that I do. Father, we ask you to take over and take control. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. 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 I really love the Lord. Yes, I do, Jesus. Yes, I do, Jesus. See, sister, you just don't know how close you come to the question that our Father has for us this morning. Today we're going to come out of Genesis 22. And we're going to ask the question and give it a title. The question is, do you really love the Lord? And the title of this message that the Lord has given me is going to be Test of Faith. How is your faith? Mm -hmm. knowing that our Father is going to give you test after test. Mm -hmm. Those of you who have your swords, Genesis 22 and 1 reads, And it come to pass after these things that God did tempt Abraham and said unto him Abraham and he said behold here I am mm -hmm. and he said take now thy son yeah. thy only son Isaac mm -hmm. whom thou lovest and get thee into the land of Morah and offer him there for a burnt offering unto one of the mountains which I will tell thee. And Abraham rose up early in the morning and saddled his ass and took two of the young men with him and Isaac his son and cleaved the wood for the burnt offering 
and rose up and went into the place of which God had told him. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. In your leisure, in your time, you can go back and finish reading that story. But the test of faith, we, we pray that you got a pen because I, I don't want you to believe what I say. I want you to believe the word of God. Amen. And you can go and search the scriptures for yourself. Realizing and understanding that as we go through this, that everything that our Father sends us through, there is a bright side. There's something within it that we need to know and just don't understand. That's right. So when you got your pen, we're going to ask you to start off in Hebrew, 11 and 1. Mm -hmm. And it reads, now faith, now faith is the substance of things hoped for. That's right. And the evidence of That's things not, not seen. That's right. That's right. That's what he said. Some things we just not going to see. Amen. But we need to believe and trust in our Lord and Savior. Say so. That he will do what he says. That's That's right. Right, preacher. That's right. Understanding that the test of our faith well. is permitted by God. Amen. See, sometimes God has to let us go through something That's right. that we cannot get out of to remind us of who He is. All right. Yes, sir. All right, you preaching now. We 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 gonna ask you to look at Psalms one hundred, verse three, and it says that no ye. That the Lord, He is God. Right. It is He that has made us. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, yes. And not we ourselves. Oh, that's right. We are His people uh -huh. and the sheep of His, his pasture. Uh -huh. God will test His sheep. That's right. So many has tried to enter the herd mm -hmm. with sheep clothing on. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. but he has a, a way yes, of separating mm -hmm. the two. Yes, we My God. even say sometimes the devil made me do it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say, don't, don't believe mm -hmm. that old has him. Mm -hmm. I know that's right. <laughs> because we need to realize that the devil comes around to tempt us. Yeah, can't make us. But all that the devil do he has to have permission to do so. Preacher, preacher, preacher. So that you can squash that little myth that, that, that you keep hearing. We're going to ask you to look at Job 1 and verse 6. That reads, now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves mm -hmm. 
before the Lord. And Satan came also among them. Think about it. If things could happen to us without the permission of God, what happened to his omnipotence? God is always in control. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But we come and we ask, where is your faith? Mm -hmm. Well, Jesus, when we look at our scripture and in verse 1, and it reads that it come to pass that after these things that God did tempt Abraham. Well, I want you to go back and, 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 and for a brief second because King James write the word Tim. Uh -huh. uh, uh, we have heard many time and time before that this English language is the worst language there is. <laughs> and understand that our father doesn't tempt us. But he tests every man. Yes, he will. So that we get that interpretation right. He tests his sheep. Oh, yes, he will. We need to look back because when it starts out and said it come to pass. We don't want anybody to be lost or left out. That's right. So we're going to ask you to glance back at Genesis 17 and 4. And it reads as for me, behold, my covenant is with thee, and thou shalt be a father of many nations. Well, God has made Abram a promise. Well, when God makes a promise, he will not break it. See, God had promised. Abram, a son. Yes, he did. By his wife, Sarah, well, who was barren. That's right. But Sarah believed at the age of 66, well, that she was past child bearing age. Well, and she began to laugh when she heard the news. And because of her laughter, God said his name would be Isaac. That's right. Which means God has made me laugh. <laughs> but you know when you look at that situation, well, I imagine many of us will laugh right along with her knowing that this barren woman hmm. cannot give birth. Well, Sarah had that mindset. And as time go by, well, and we don't see something happening, we start to think on how to do things our own way. You know when things doesn't happen when we want it to happen. How we want it to happen. That's right. 
you know I can believe I can do this all on my own. Sarah had that mindset that she decided that that she needed to have a son and, and she was going to do things her way. Well, See, she got tired of waiting on God. Yeah, yeah. Preacher, preacher. And she gave her husband her handmaid. Yes, she did. To bear him a son. Well, well. when we look back and realize and understand that Sarah just failed that faith test. Well, she didn't have enough faith or patience to wait on the Lord. Well, see, God will continue to test us from time to time. Well, wanting to know how is your faith. Abraham being at the age of 75. That's right. You know he had been through some tests. I ask each one of us to look at our own life. And ask ourselves how many tests have you been through. Well, how many tests have you passed? How many tests have you failed in your course? We need to ask ourselves through all of them tests. Mm -hmm. Have God ever gave up on you? Never, never, never. I love that he is a second chance now. Yes, he is. We're going here and since we're looking at Abraham, we look at some of the tests that he has been through. Well, Jesus. Knowing that Abraham, he passed his first test. Well. That was the family test to where he left his loved one. Well, Jesus. And he stepped out on faith yeah, yeah. to go to the new land. But he fell his famine text uh -huh. because he doubted the word of God uh -huh. and he went to Egypt for help uh -huh. well, uh, and he passed his fellowship text uh -huh. well, when he gave Lot the first choice of using that pastured land uh -huh. well, uh -huh. and he passed the fight test well, when he waited on the Lord to defend him against the kings in the battle. When he passed the future test, when he said no to Solomon's wealth, and he failed the fatherhood test, when he allowed Sarah to give him a handmaid. But out of all that he went through and out of all that we go through God, he never gives up on his children. Because you see Abraham second chance yeah. Well, came 25 years later. That's right. That's right. After the promise, yeah. uh -huh. and he had a son. Uh -huh. 
this test of faith uh -huh. is answering God's call no matter what you are going through the Lord called on Abraham and he answered the Lord here I am but Abraham didn't realize that he was fixing to go through one ultimate test. Well, say it, preacher. When we go and we look at uh -huh. this ultimate test here in verse 2, uh -huh. it says that the Lord says, Take now uh -huh. thy son, yeah. thou only son Isaac, uh -huh. whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of God. Uh -huh. And offer him there for a burnt offering. Upon one of the mountains. Which I will tell thee. See God. Here is only recognizing. Isaac as that's all, that's all. the only son. Uh -huh. The one that. He had promised. Yeah. 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 And Abraham Preaches, and Sarah. Uh -huh. Saying take him. To Mark. Mm -hmm. The place which I. Will show you. Uh -huh. And present Isaac. As a burnt offering. Uh -huh. well, we need to look. At that and understand. One thing. Uh -huh. That as the Lord is going through these steps, he's also showing another picture. Uh -huh. We need to know that when they got to that old mountain, uh -huh. that they were able to stand on that mountain and look over uh -huh. and see Mount Calvary. Uh -huh. Scripture says that Abraham was a faithful servant. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. And he received the message from the Lord. Uh -huh. We have to look and understand that, yes, he went to bed that night well, with a troubled heart. Well, knowing that the son uh -huh. that my father has given me, well, he's asking me to sacrifice him. Uh -huh. I don't know about you. Well, come on now. But I can feel the heartache. Yeah. I can feel the puzzling mind not knowing what was going to happen. Well, Jesus. But being a obedient yeah. the the servant yes, of the Lord. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Scripture says that Abraham rose up early in that morning. And he saddled his ass and he took two young men with him. And Isaac his son. And cleaved the wood for a burnt offering. And rose up and went to the place which God has told him. When we look and understand that that I that Abraham he didn't hesitate. We know that and understand that he may have been praying every step of the way. We have always told one another and other folks that the Lord will provide. Yes. And I can hear oh Abraham walking uh -huh. down that old path. Come on, Christian. Believing that the Lord is going to provide for him a way out. Uh -huh. well, Jesus. But scripture says that they traveled three days uh -huh. to get to this Pacific mountain. Uh -huh. When they got down to the foot of the mountain. Well, 
Lord. He sat there and the Lord says uh -huh. that this is the spot. Uh -huh. right? yeah. And for these two men uh -huh. to wait here with that old ass. Uh -huh. He took that old lumber uh -huh. that he had for the sacrifice uh -huh. and sat there and put that lumber on the back of Isaac. Uh -huh. And they began to go up that old path uh -huh. going up to that old mountaintop. Uh -huh. But you see, I believe Abraham was still praying yeah. Yeah, 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 and was still talking to yeah. himself yeah, 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 yeah. asking the Lord for a little help. Yeah. But you know there come an extra little trouble there. Yeah. There comes a little bit more burden yeah. as they going up that old path. Come on, yeah. Isaac looked over uh -huh. and said, Father, yeah. I see uh -huh. the wood for the sacrifice. Yeah. I see on, the knife in one hand. Yeah. I see the fire in your other hand. Yeah. But Lord, well. Father, I do not see uh -huh. Oh, the sacrifice. Oh, As they go up and yeah. you can see yeah. the trouble in face oh, yeah. on Abraham. Yeah. But he continued to go up the old path. Oh, yes, sir. And all he said was the Lord oh, will. will provide. Oh, what will. they didn't yeah. know that as they was going up one side, uh -huh. yeah. the Lord was sending help up the other side. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All they had to do was continue uh -huh. yeah. to have faith, uh -huh. knowing that the Lord uh -huh. will, will provide yeah. Yeah. He will. Yeah. our yeah. time of yeah. trouble. Yeah. Come on, Perry. But they got to that old mountain top. Yes, sir. Yeah. Began to stand there for a second. Yeah. And began to look around. Yeah. Looked over and seen that old Mount Calvary over there. Yeah. yeah. But seen no other help. Well. Yeah. Because you see, our Father don't give you no advance warning. Uh -huh. When he decides to help, uh -huh. he help you when he decides. Yeah. Realizing that yeah. he is a long time ago. He don't leave anything to your knowledge. Yes, sir. He wants you to know that all that was done was done by his power. Yeah. Yeah. Abraham began to build up that altar. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Praying every step of the way. Well, but you know, he looked over at his son. Uh -huh. And I can imagine he said, Son, I need you to put your hands together. Yes! Begin to tie up this young man. Yeah. I don't know about any of you. Yeah. But if I see somebody trying to tie my hand. Yeah. Getting me ready for a sacrifice. Yeah. I have to go the other way. Yeah. But they knew where. They stay. Yeah. They faith was solid in the law. Yes, sir. Realizing that the Lord will provide. Well, the young man he didn't fight. That's right. He sat there and allowed his father. 
Yeah. To pick him up and put him on that old altar. Yeah. When he got him on that old altar. Well, you know how when we get ready to do something, we begin to hesitate for a moment. But Abraham went and he lift up the night. The sun laid there. He didn't budge one bit. So when Abraham picked up that old night, he began to look up, saying, Lord, thy will be done. And just before he get ready to come down, the angel of the Lord began to spoke to him. If I have to put a name to that old angel, I have to say that it was Gabriel, that old messenger. He was accompanied by Raphael. That old angel of you. They come down and say, don't touch that young lad. That the Lord has provided yeah. a sacrifice no. for you. Yeah. All you have to do is turn Come around on. just a little bit. Yeah. I don't know about any of you, yeah. but if I were to turn around uh-huh. and see that old ram yeah. caught in that old bush, yeah. I'd be trying to clean my ears yeah. and figure out why did not hear all of that noise going on behind When the Lord decides to work yeah. in your life, Come on, right. He won't give you any warning. Come on, man. He wants you to know that it is He that is doing it yeah. and not you uh-huh. and yourself. Yeah. They got off of that altar, yeah. went and got that old man. Yeah. And they said, and they made the sacrifice, yeah. believing uh-huh. that nothing was going to happen. Yeah. See, we have to look back and think Whoa. that even when he left the two men down at the bottom of that old path, yeah. he said, we going up to worship. Uh-huh. Yeah. And we shall be coming back. Yeah. He believed that this was another test. Yeah. See, when our Father gives us uh-huh. the second chance, Come on, when He gives us the, 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 the ability to redeem our sins, yes, Lord yes, Jesus. Yes, Abraham passed. The fatherhood test. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Oh, the second round. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. God is a good God. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. We need to believe. We need to trust. We need to understand that as we go through our test. Yeah. That he's right there beside us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He will yes, always be right there. Dispatch an angel. Yes, he will. To help you in your troubled time. I thank my father That's for right. sending his son. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For carrying thank our burden. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Because you lay on that whipping post and took the beating that I was supposed to take. Uh You got up and you carried your own lumber up that cobbled stone pathway. Well, Jesus. Walking up to that old mount called Calvary. That's right. That's right. Got up on that old Calvary hill. Well. Knowing that they stretched him wide. Well. Nailing him to that old cross. Yeah, yeah. To see they always forget to remember the words of the Lord. 
Yeah. Uh -huh. See, we always get to where we want to hold on to the things that we want to hold on to. Come on, Barry. And not the things that was told in us that we need to remember. Yeah. Well, he said that if I, if I be lifted up, I draw all men, all men. under me. Yeah. They began to raise up that old cross. Yeah. As they rolled up that old cross. Uh -huh. And Jesus was laying on that cross. Wow. He didn't fight. Well, he didn't even sit there and curse anybody else. But he began to pray. Praying to the Father. Saying, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. He prayed for each and every one. Scripture said that he said, Father, into your hands. Yes. I command my spirit. Yes, he did. Jesus left that old shell on the cross. Yes. Went and stayed with our Father. Well, Jesus. They said they took him that shell down off that old cross mm -hmm. and laid it in an old borrowed tomb. Mm -hmm. The scripture says that within three days wow. he came back and he picked up that old shell yeah. Yeah. and he came out with all power yeah. in his hand. Yeah. Preacher. God yeah. is a good God. Yes, he is. All you have yes, to do is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. is to believe. Yes. Trust yes, in him. Yes, Lord. He's going to test your faith. Yeah! How's your faith this morning? Well, Jesus, yes, Lord. Do you really love the Lord? Yes, Lord. God bless you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Glory be to his name. Glory to his name. Glory to his name. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Man, what a message, what a message. Where is your faith this morning? And we're not just talking to St. Frederick. We talk to men and women around this world that proclaim to know Jesus. Where is your faith this morning? Oh, my God, my God, my God, this morning. I, if you're with me, you declare your faith in Christ, your hope, your trust, and your confidence, and surely believe his word. Where is your faith this morning? If there's anybody here this morning that would love to come and declare your faith in Christ, the devil ain't, ain't nobody mad but the devil, Pastor. Ain't nobody mad but the devil. Or if you're at home and you have never made Christ your personal Savior, you ought to try him this morning. You ought to try him this morning. Here's the, the number at St. Frederick, St. Frederick here is 830 693 Four four nine nine. You ought to make that call this morning and say, Pastor, I want to declare my faith in Christ. And all you got to do is stand on God's word. I promise you, God is no short of His word. He'll do just what He said He'll do. And just like that message the pastor said, sometimes God don't give you no forewarning, but when He show up, He'll show up, brother Deacon. <laughs> Ain't he all right, y'all? If you were here this morning, if you are watching this broadcast, pick up that phone now and dial that number and say, I need 
to be sure that my faith, I'm rooted and grounded in Christ Jesus because whatever this pandemic does, God is able to turn it around. Amen. God bless you all this morning. Thank you, Brother uh, Jackson. Uh, all of you here this morning, uh, Reverend Porter, who is our uh, tech guy this morning, and Pastor Perry. Somebody at home. Okay. Somebody at home, if, you, if you're there, bow your head with me. Father in heaven, in your name, we come before you with bowed heads and humble hearts. And Father, we pray that if there's anyone that don't know you this morning, Father, we pray that they would do as your word said. Romans chapter 10, verse 9, he said, if we confess with our mouths, believe in our heart, the Lord Jesus, that God raised him from the dead, we shall be saved. And if you believe that and you prayed that prayer this morning, don't you know that you're saved? Because God said, believe it. Yes, yes. Sometimes we can't understand it or explain it, but he told us to simply yes, yes. believe it. And we're believing for your salvation, your healing, your safety, and your security this morning. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Brother Pastor, for a mighty word this morning. Amen. 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 what a mighty word. Man, you know, we have a advantage on the disciples. Yes, yes, yes. An yes. advantage on yes, Abraham. Yes. We're able to search the scripture. Yes. And see. That's right. That's right. Yes, sir. What the Lord has fought. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We ask that you take time and see what the Lord has for you. That's right. That's right. That's uh, right. Look at your situation and find the good among that bad. That's right. I, 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 I said I wasn't going to do it, but I, I may have some that, that that may be lost in realizing that this was a story for Abraham, but there was a hit message All right. within that. Well, Pastor, you brought it down. I'm realizing and understand it. that within this message, you will see what God went through when he gave up mm. his son. Yes, 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 yes. yes sir. You might right. say it, preacher. Realizing that mm. Mm. both of these young men, Isaac and Jesus, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. was promised sons yes, yes, yes. By the Lord, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that came through a period of delay. Mm -hmm. Both was assured God's omnipotence. Oh yes, 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 yes. Oh God, in their they preacher. both were preacher, given names preacher, preacher, preacher. before Lord Jesus they were born. Thank you for this anointing on this man, oh God. Lord bless you. Knowing that God used them. Bless your name. At a appointed time. Yes, bless your name, Jesus. They bless both name. carried their own lumber <laughs> yes, up the mountaintop. Reach out. And they both bless waited me. three days. Bless your name. Bless your name. It's all there. Search the yes, scriptures. Yes, it is, Pastor. You find it. out for yourself. Yes, if you have a problem yes, with it, Lord. we're going to ask you to call me. Yes, Lord. So that we get a good understanding. Our Father always has a message for us. Yes, He does. Yes, He does. God bless. Lord, He delivered it this morning. Each. God, 
and every one. We want to say thank y'all for tuning in, mm -hmm. for taking your time and listening to what the Lord had to say. Mm -hmm. And for those who are out, it is good to see y'all. Amen. And God bless each and every one. Mm -hmm. um, with that said, we're going to ask those of you at home, uh, if you had came by and got uh, the Lord's Supper, we ask that you get it out and get ready. As I move from this position and get my gloves, uh, we can partake of the Lord's Supper together. Amen. I know it was a blood. I know it was a blood. I know it was a blood. Oh, me. to you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed yes. to the bread, yes. and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, take, yeah. eat, mm -hmm. this is my body which is broken for you, this do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup, when he had supped, saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye, as oft as ye drank it, in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread, and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread, and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily, shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord Jesus. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drank of that cup. For he that eateth and drank it unworthily, eateth and drank it damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. I've just read you 23rd through the 30th verse of the said chapter. God bless the reader, the hearer, and the obedient to his word. Amen. Before Reverend come with a prayer, I am going to ask him and ask those of you at home that don't have the Lord's Supper, if you got your piece of bread, if you have your cracker, and I must say, if you got your legal substance to drink, we ask that you please hold it up. As it is going to represent yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. the body yes. and the blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yes. We're going to ask him to cover 
that within his prayer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We don't want to leave yes. nobody yes. out. Yes, God, you are who you say you are. Yes, yes, sir. You can do what you say you can do. Yes, you can. I am who yes, you say yes, I am. Yes, mm -hmm. I can do all things all through Christ. Yes, Your word is alive yes, and active. Yes, Father God, in the name of Jesus, yes, mm -hmm. we ask now that you bless yes, everything, all the bread and all the wine that yes, you to, before you this morning. Mm -hmm. We ask that you look over us. Bless please, us God, and please, God, please, body, God. Father. Oh, Father, we just ask that you let us live up to the test that we are going to be facing, Father. Mm -hmm. Father, yes, prepare Lord. our hearts, prepare our souls, prepare yeah. our hearts, yeah. that yeah. we may pass the test, yes, that we can stand in faith in your name, in the mm -hmm. name, the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Father, yes, we just yes, ask yes. you to be with us today. Yes, be with us, bless us, touch us, keep us. In the name of Jesus. As we examine ourselves, Father, open yes. up our hearts and our minds and remove all those yes, things that yes, don't need to yes, be yes, there. Yes, Father, yes, in the name of Jesus, yes, bless us and keep us. Amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. I know it was the blood. No, it was the blood of our Savior Jesus Christ, the blood of our Lord Savior Jesus Christ, the blood for me. One day when I was lost, He died upon the cross, and I know it was the blood for me. Jesus Christ which was broken for us we ask that you take and eat eat all of the cup that you hold in your hand The, I have to say the legal drink that you withhold for those of you that are home we ask that it represents the blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ which was shed for our sins we ask you to take and drink drink ye all of After they ate of his body and drunk of his blood, they walked out of that Mount of Olives, dancing, praising, and singing songs unto him. Let the church say, Let the church say, Church, say, Amen. 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 All together now. Amen. 
With love in your heart. Being on one accord.